All right, so we got 10 biggest unsolved mysteries in video games. Let's grab to video. Whether it be to right. scam. If I, uh, content or speculating on a character's motivations or fate, gamers will go to great lengths to know all there is to know about their favorite titles. But as if I, um, if I look a little tired, I just woke up. Sorry about that, man. Uncracked. I'm Cy for WhatCulture.com and these are the si? biggest you have nice hair. mysteries in video games. Number 10, Tortured Radio Static. Five, Far Cry? Five. A player I played Far Cry 6, I never played uh, Far Cry 5, 5 before. Five, they will often have the radio on to keep them company. And for okay. the most part, there isn't much too different about this than any other open world game. Classic American rock tunes, incoming radio messages, and sermons from the local cults all help build the world as the player makes their way to whatever destination they're going to. Okay. But in certain locations an altogether different station can be picked up players have reported picking up a strange radio station in far cry 5 that only plays a static sound however listening closely unnerving noises of people moaning and muffled screaming can be heard usually accompanied by the word emergency and a flurry of gunshots and even with the subsequent release of the game's sequel they make out the dark web no station bro this apparent torture session is where it's coming from or what its purpose was meant to be the likeliest explanation is that it would have formed part of a side quest that was eventually scrapped but until ubisoft says anything otherwise far cry fans are left speculating number nine beware the what rat, blood rain 2 i never played blood rain before oh hold up and what you get in a finished product doesn't necessarily Ooh. tell the full Ooh. tale of development glitches what is this to other members can be found out of bounds in a lot of games usually explained away as being part of a cut piece of content or a general part of the development process that someone forgot to take out Mm. However, in the case of Blood Rain 2, there's a particular message left from the developers that gamers are still yet to work out. At the beginning of the level Sewers Smuggling Route, players are able to look above the first sewage grate once the opening cutscene comes to a she close. She the neck. A strange message. Beware the giant rat. Already eerie enough, players that take this warning literally for the level are in for an unnecessary amount of stress as there is no giant rat anywhere in the game. So, what, what? gives? Fans have speculated for years over for what this ominous floating message could mean with theories ranging from a cut enemy to an inside joke shared between the developers oh who is that never taken out number eight what type of monster was that fallout anyone who has played a fallout title knows about the mysterious stranger an unlockable perk that players can pick up the mysterious stranger will show up every so often in conflict to deliver critical shots and finish off enemies and up until the release of fallout 4 that was about that for all we knew about this shady character but for the 2015 title bethesda intentionally worked in some added depth to the man that has left players pondering over the true nature of this assassin Who is <laughs> nick valentine is an android and private investigator players can have as a companion as they travel across the wasteland ah. if the mysterious stranger shows up whilst nick is around the pi will react with great shock and curse how the man was able to slip through their fingers oh. nick even has his own case file built against the stranger so he's, he's like a little mystery he's side character okay his own theories on who and what his identity may be okay he got a little Sherlock home jacket. Android is in the dark as much as they are when it comes to I'll be real. I should really get into Fallout. I never really played Fallout like that. I'll be real. Crypt, World of Warcraft. Located in Deadwind Pass, the Karazhan Crypt is a sealed off part of World of Warcraft that has become infamous within the community. It's okay, that, that fit looks nice. I'll be real. Through the walls or portcullis that guards its entry and houses an array of horrors that certainly feel out of place for WoW. From the remnants of hundreds of skeletons stuffed in a pile to corpses dangling upside down under the water, this location takes an even creepier tone when players take into account that almost everything to do with it remains a mystery. The rumor mill seems to have pinned down three possible explanations for the crypt. But what type of mission is this? It was nothing more than a developer's playroom that's been left in. The second is that it was intended to be part of the Karazhan raid but never made the final cut. And the final and most So they just left it? That it had been the start of its very own raid that was eventually cut for being too horrifying. The true answers may Oh, okay. Be, but it is fascinating. I can't lie, like seeing a ball of skeletons is horrifying though that is scary like look at this bro what the ammo box perfect dark rare are developers that are known for littering their game i never played this before items designed to get the community talking most of the time players are content disregarding them as being one of those rare things but in the case of perfect dark the curiosity behind ooh, one ooh. item in particular has refused to evaporate in the years since in the sewers level of the combat simulator there's a 
particular ammo box under the floor with two tunnels branching off of it. It looks like a serious item, with plenty of players back in the day speculating as to whether this could have held a cheat for unlimited ammo or perhaps <laughs> a secret weapon. I would think so. But in reality, this isn't a real ammo box as it doesn't move in the same way when it's shot at. There's also no way of reaching it with both the tunnels. So they just, so they just programmed it in there just to program it? It highlights the box with a pretty suspicious A. Quip makes most assume that this is indeed one of those rare things. Whether or not they take this at face value is up to... Bro, oh, he just... <laughs> he just... He just run it backwards. <laughs> well, oh! Super Mario Galaxy. I, I played Super Mario Galaxy, though. Man, I haven't played this game in a minute, bro. For delivering chills, which makes the unsolved mystery behind these shadow figures in Super Mario. What Galaxy mystery was in here, though? More eerie. Playing through the Shiverburn Galaxy, players may begin to notice some strange figures peering over the horizon and following them as oh. they progress. Mere shadowy outlines. It's an. I think that's just like part of the part of the map. I, I think that's just part of the map. To this day, a deep dive into the game's internal code revealed that the figures have the name Hell Valley Sky Tree, but one look at their huge eye sockets will tell any player that those trees, well, they're not. Trees. Yeah, I think it's just part of the map. I'll be real. Mysterious figures is the code name of the level they belong to, Beyond Hell Valley. Quite why Mario Galaxy 2 was apparently going to house such a spooky level, how these figures would have been presenting it, and why this was all supposedly scrapped remains unknown. And before the queen, yeah, I think that's just part. Oh no! The lore behind the Alien franchise has always been quite specific when it comes to xenomorphs. Where there are eggs, there is usually a queen. The nah, it... that Amanda Ripley and players attempt to navigate. Hey, nah, I can never play. This game, y'all. Plenty of eggs, so it's only logical there should be a queen somewhere laying them. True. Right. The developers certainly wanted the players to think so, adding to the tension of what is already a terrifying game of cat and mouse against a grown xenomorph. The noise of the queen can, in fact, be heard in various parts of the Sephastable station. And Creative Assembly later confirmed that she is actually on board. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> he cuts boss fights and urged not to confine such an iconic sci-fi villain to a mere cameo role. Perhaps best explains why players don't ever see the queen. But the question. Of where exactly she's supposed to be stowing away remains an interesting, Ooh. slightly terrifying mystery. Ooh. Three, the strange man. Boy, hey. Red Dead Redemption Two provided one of the most expansive open worlds. He like that one dude from uh from the de from the Devil in Me. Triple H, Hurls Hemsley, Hemsley, whatever his name was. However, one mystery that has continued to evade even the most. Ooh, I can't let that got me. Is the identity of the strange man. Players will encounter the strange man three times over the course of a play. Through each time they meet him, the man is purposefully vague and very particular with his words, delivering them with a methodical coolness that suggests there is far more going on. This man's in the middle of nowhere. A particularly chilling moment comes during the pair's final interaction, where the man remarks that the place they are standing is a fine spot. Spoiler warning, but later on in the game, that very spot is where a particularly prominent character is buried. Speculation mm. has been rife over the identity of the strange man. Theories vary from him being the devil, came from the Bible, death himself or even John Marston's conscience catching up to him. Regardless, it is one of the most memorable and still unsolved mysteries from the Red Dead world. Number two, Letter from a Friend, The Elder Scrolls V. The Elder Rolls. As the Dragonborn and de facto most powerful hey! in the world, it's safe to assume players will attract their fair share of both friends and foes in the lands of Skyrim. Over the course of a playthrough, players will receive letters from a friend claiming that they have been watching their skills develop and pointing them in the oh, direction that, yeah. of word wall. The first instance of the Dragonborn receiving these letters comes from Delphine after picking up the horn of Jurgen Windcaller but will continue being sent wherever they use their shout. The idea of someone wanting to guide the dragonborn on their journey to saving the world. The dragon what? Oh, I thought he said some I thought he said something different. My bad. Sorry y'all. These letters remains unsolved to this day. Theories on the identity of this friend range wildly. Seriously, pick any NPC from Skyrim and you can That's a nice little jacket. Try hard enough. The truth is probably none of them, and it's something as boring as a way for Bethesda to keep giving players something to do. But whilst we don't have any clarification that this is the hey, if this is real, if this is like in real life, bro, call me King Arthur because I'm destroying that. Inside major spoilers for this one follow, but every what are they doing to Michael Jackson? Long and manages to dismantle the rule book for what a video game is meant to be. Step forward, play dead inside. But what is that? Are those sloths? Come from the fact that almost all of it is still a complete mystery. Hey, this is the first little nightmares Ooh. in the years since the game's launch and of course that's played its entire point in making but what type of map is this supposed to get any answers that doesn't mean that it isn't fun to try and work out some of the mysteries play dead might have left just enough behind to uncover specifically around the oh no nah, this game is will mess my head up bro human bodies one 
theory around the identity and purpose of the huddle is that it is using the boy as a means of freeing itself. Control and freedom are two of the biggest themes present across the game, so it would make sense that the huddle somehow has a telepathic link that is able to pull the boy like a puppet. Oh no, what is this? The huddle's plan of being freed is completely skipped over, which seems an unlikely occurrence if it was the thing in control. What the huddle is, what its goals are, and who is helping it all remain a mystery. And you know what? That just makes the whole thing creepier. Have you ever played any video games that were too scary to finish? Yes. Yes. Listed them right here. You can yes. This video now. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Comment down below. What do you guys think of the, uh, about this video? And um, and yeah, they had a lot of games that I didn't play in here, you know, so I really couldn't, you know, get excited for it you know a lot of these games but um comment down below what you guys think about this video see you guys later for the next one i'm out and